Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a really easy tutorial for how I set up this completely automated email drip campaign using MailChimp. Let's jump right in. I want to just quickly mention that in order to fully set up this automated campaign, you are going to need to be on the standard plan. However, I have a convenient affiliate link for you in the description that'll save you $30 if you'd like to sign up. So I want to quickly show you how I initially get people into my email list first. I created this uh, completely free SEO checklist that's been very helpful. I've been promoting it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and on the website as well. It's very simple. Um, they put in their email address and their first name, they subscribe, and they get this free email download that starts the um, automated process. That's how I initially get them into my email list. From there, once you've signed up to MailChimp and are logged in, you're going to first click on this automations tab on the left. From there, it's going to show you a little bit about all of the journeys that you can create, custom customer journeys, depending on whatever you want to do. If you want to welcome your new contacts, if you want to recover abandoned carts, if you're uh, selling uh, stuff to people online, uh, if you want to just share blog posts or tag people for happy birthday posts or anything like that. Um, and uh, you can uh, view all of your journeys in here as well. How I'm using it, uh, my email list is to monetize it. Um, once they sign up for that SEO checklist, I am nurturing my no like, and trust factor, so I'm providing value to everybody, complimentary value, and I'm also upselling some products and services that we offer. I'm gonna show you my funnel first, and then uh, we'll actually create one from scratch. So as you can see here, I only set this up a couple days ago, but I already have 10 new people in here uh, that have entered the queue, they've signed up, and they've got the first email uh, in that uh, email sequence. Uh, in order to edit all of these, I'm going to pause and exit here, pause and edit. And how I initially set this up is I have the starting point when they join the email, and then it's going to delay a couple of days. And then after those three day period, it sends them this first email that is a follow up. You know, how did they like, how did you like the SEO checklist? Uh, is there any questions that I can answer for you? And I immediately upsell uh, a website audit, which is one of the services that we offer. And you have total control over uh, editing the subject in there um, and uh, editing the actual email and previewing it as well. And then uh, from there, it waits four days, sends them another email here where I'm promoting a YouTube video. So I'm cross-promoting other content that I have, um, and this is a really awesome passive way to not only drive more sales, but to cross-promote your blog articles, your YouTube videos, your other social media, etc. Now we're going to create one from scratch. You can follow along and create your own journey. First thing, once we're on this customer journeys tab, I'm going to click the create icon up here. And you can either do classic automations or customer journey. I'm gonna do customer journey. And you can name this anything that you want. So let's name it test journey. And you can name it anything that you want. Let's do um, this other list that I have. And I'm gonna do start building. First thing that you're gonna to need to do is choose a starting point. So it gives you some suggestions over here. Um, I'm going to start up with signups uh, because anytime somebody enters my email list, I want them to initiate in this sequence. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to save the starting point there. Now they've made it so easy for you um, to get started here. There's only a limited amount of options. So you can, um, uh, once yeah, I'm going to start with delay here, for instance, I'm going to simply drag that in. And so you can change this. Um, what this defaults to is after they sign up for your email list, it's gonna wait one week before it does the next action. If you wanna change that, you can just click in that widget and then you can change weeks to minutes, hours, days, or week, and then you have total control over this. So we could change this to, let's say, four days later. And you would just click save. And then the next action from there you could do send an email. 
right? So they signed up for the email list. We're delaying them by four days. And then four days later, they're gonna get this email. Now from here, you can simply click in there. You can select who the um, who you're sending this automated email to. You can change uh, the name, who it's from. You can change the email address here. You can add the subject line here and then you can actually create the email. So you can use a previous email campaign template. Uh, if you were just manually sending email templates before and you wanna repurpose one of the ones that you've already sent um, and just you know bring it into your funnel now, you can easily do that. Or you can select one of their easy templates here. And from here, you can choose one of their existing default templates. You can click on themes. Uh, these are all really convenient and, and helpful if you want to start with one of these. And once this theme loads, this is a very simple uh, and easy to use drag and drop editor that you have total customization control uh, over every element of this. Once you're happy with that, you just click save the workflow up there. And let's do, um, let's add an, an uh, if else statement here. So let's say, let's drag that in. And then we can add conditions here. So, so say um, that um, you want to segment the the target based on if they have opened it or if they have not opened it. So if they have not opened any of your emails here, you can then send them that way, and you can control what the status of the path is. So we can see any or all of the following conditions. And then you can choose campaign activity here, date added, email client, if they have performed a, a specific action, oops, if they've performed a, a specific action like uh, campaign activity, if they opened it, if they clicked anything, if they did not open, so let's say opened. So if yes, then they could get this next email sequence, for instance. If they don't open it, then they go this path. Maybe you wanna retarget people uh, and give them a coupon or something like that, or the options are virtually endless. And then you would just click continue here. Once you're fully set up, and you can choose to answer this information for them, it's for their own survey and then you would simply click turn on and now you have a fully automated email drip campaign. If you want more tips and tutorials like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on this next video where I'm gonna show you more awesome digital marketing tips you can use to grow your business. I'll see you there.